Hey guys, um, we're back again today with the Fundamental Fridays video. We're gonna cover push press today. Um, the last one we did was a little while back on the press, um, strict press, and uh, today we're gonna cover the push press. The main difference is that we will bring your legs in. Um, instead of just being a strict overhead press with no legs, we're gonna add a dip. So Tess is gonna demo um, as I talk about it. So setup is the same. Um, you're gonna want your hands just outside of shoulder width. We're gonna want your feet set under your hips. Um, now, with a push press, the thing that's gonna change is she's gonna actually dip by pushing her knees forward and out and then drive straight up overhead. Go ahead, okay, good, do another one. Watch your knees, they go forward and out. She stays up tall, do another one, dip. All right, so a couple of things that can go wrong on this you wanna watch out for. Um, dipping too low and causing yourself to lean forward. So if you dip too low, it can tend to cause you to lean forward. We don't want that. We wanna keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Okay, there you go. Another thing you might do is dip too short because if you don't dip at all, you don't really, if you don't, if you don't dip far enough, you're not gonna get any power into the bar. And the goal is to drive the bar with your legs off your shoulders. Um, another fault is not holding the bar where it's in contact with your shoulders. So if you come around here and you can see, she's kind of rolled the bar down and off her shoulders. So we don't want to see the bar down here. We want to actually see her elbows forward of the bar slightly and we want to see contact with her shoulders. So when she dips and drives, she's actually driving that bar off her shoulders. Do one more. Okay, good. Now, another thing that can happen in the overhead position is not locking out. We talked about that last time. Go ahead and show one. Yeah, so her arms are not locked out. You wanna make sure you lock all the way out, push all the way through the bar. Um, and then another thing is, is leaning back in a way. So dipping and then leaning back. There you go, yeah, you see that. Let's try another one of those. There you go, so dip and lean away. There you go. We'll see this sometimes too, where you're not really locking the bar out. So we wanna see a good dip, drive all the way through. Go ahead, good, all right. Um, if you have trouble getting in this front rack position, um, you can go back to some of the front rack. Um, there was a, a front rack mobility video with, uh, in the squatting group. So go back and look at that one. The stretches apply. They're really the same, the same position. So um, if you have any questions on that, hit us up in the gym, shoot me a message, um, or give me a call.